I want to talk about AI. I hear all the talk constantly that AI is just a bubble waiting to burst. What say you? Talk, 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 talk. It's the biggest question everyone gets right now. In fact, I was with Charles Payne last night and Bill Hammer, and we were talking about this. Bill asked us, is it a bubble? And Charles and I both categorically agreed. This is not a bubble. It's one of the best times we've seen in the markets, the best setups. You get these once every five, seven, maybe 10 years. And here's the key difference. Everyone wants to make this the, the comparison to the dot-com days. The difference with yeah. that was we had all the fiber optics that weren't being used. The infrastructure was there. We just couldn't figure out how to make profits from it. Fast forward to the AI, not bubble. The infrastructure is not there. There's no dark data centers. In fact, we got news yesterday that NVIDIA and Blackstone teamed up to buy a data center because they can't get enough. All the capacity that we have for AI is continuing to be soaked up by the market. And we, there, Microsoft was out. I know that you have you know, a beloved position in Microsoft. They, they said, we, we need have more demand than we can fill between now and 2026. Okay. Um, I, I'm told, well, I, I want to see a positive impact from AI on this series of earnings reports, which we're going to get over the next yeah. two weeks. I want to see the impact now. I'm told I'm not going to see it now. I've got to wait Who till told later. You that? You got to check your sources because last night in the <laughs> middle of the night, we got TSMC's report. Yeah. Profits up 39%. Well, guess what? It's AI driven. More importantly, they raised full year guidance for the second quarter in a row. This doesn't happen at tops of markets or tops of trends when companies come in and say, hey, we did great this quarter. We think we're going to do better next quarter. And then they come in next quarter and say, hey, we did so good. We're even going to do better. So they keep raising expectations. The earnings are backfilling. This is a difference. NVIDIA has prices gone up and has, so have his earnings. The dot com days, if you looked at Cisco, which was the poster child of that trend, its price went to the moon and its earnings. Earnings were pretty steady, flat, and that's where the problems come up.